by acknowledging that the land upon which we gather is unceded Mi'kmaq territory, and we pay our respects to the indigenous Mi'kmaq people of this territory past, present, and future. Distinguished guests, please rise for the graduates. Graduates, family members, this class of 2023 is a very special group. The past three years have been filled with many successes, lots of special events and a tremendous amount of learning. This group has more than lived up to the expectations of previous grad classes and 
in many ways, risen above the bar that was already set so high. Led by a very hardworking student council executive, this class demonstrated leadership in so many ways, from the classroom to the athletic and music programs, on the provincial and national stage, they represented our school with pride, poise, and class. And so today we continue our recognition of this graduation class. We recognize their successes and achievements in the classroom. We share with you the support they have received for the next phase of their educational career. And we celebrate the families that have supported them to get them to this very special day. A lot of people have played a role in getting our graduates here today. And I've told this group many times that the prom and the safe grad activities are all about them. But this graduation ceremony is an event that celebrates everyone who has been involved in their success. It is important that their family support be acknowledged today. We have lots of examples where very little is needed from home to get your children across the line, and we have examples where parents were much more involved to get their graduates here today. In some cases, all your graduate needed was some cash and a ride, while others needed you to be a regular visitor to their Google Classroom. For all you've done to support them, we thank you. I want to thank the amazing staff here at Charles Kennebrook. The teachers in this school are as good as it gets. I have worked in 10 schools, and I can assure you that our teachers are among the best in the province. The extra help, the extra hours, the extra attention the teaching staff invested in this class has been noticed and appreciated. We get many compliments throughout the year from parents, guardians, and visitors about the very positive vibe that they feel when they're in our school. When you have a terrific staff and awesome students, it's easy to create an environment that is welcoming and positive. In particular, I'd like to take a moment to thank the staff for their tremendous support of me over the past four years. It's been a real pleasure to work with the 70 teachers, 13 educational assistants, two youth service workers, and the seven teaching staff. They are really a great group. Our administrative team has also worked well together, each bringing a different skill set to the group effort. Brenda Bryden, Rebecca Ryu, Steve Wynn, Kathy Aiken, Sherry Walsh, and Terry Callahan have worked hard each day to make the rural the best run school it could be, and I thank them for that. Now, one of our teachers is retiring this year. Mr. Ian Hogue began his teaching career in South Africa, then spent a few years teaching in and around Toronto, then a year at Stone Park, and now 24 years at the Rural. Mr. Hogue taught many different courses for us and invested his time and talent in many projects and extracurricular events. Ian was always on the cutting edge of new technologies in the education system and was known to share his opinion on the good and the not so good in the software world. We thank him for all he's done for Charlton Rural and wish him all the best in his retirement. <laughs> now to the class of 2023, I want to add my congratulations to the many you have received recently. We are very proud of you and want to thank you for all you've done to represent Charlton Rural. I'm glad that most of you will continue to pursue further 
form of education. And I wish those who have decided to get their next lessons from the work world all the best. I hope you look back on your time at the world with fondness and that you have lots of great memories from your time here. I'll leave the reminiscing to Ms. Carragher and her time at the podium, but I want to thank you for being such a great group and for continuing the tradition of excellent grad classes. Congratulations on your graduation today. May your future be bright and full of success. Thank you. proceed any further, I wanted to acknowledge that Mr. McIsaac is also retiring this year. We've been fortunate to have Mr. McIsaac at Charlottetown Rural for the last four of his 37 years as an educator. He has worked as a teacher and an administrator in 10 different schools encompassing all grade levels. We've often heard him joke that in 2019, Charlottetown Rural got a new principal and everything went to pot as we quickly dealt with Dorian, COVID, and Fiona. Nothing could be further from the truth, and I don't know how the school would have fared without his experience and leadership to guide us through some of the most difficult times in education. Dale is incredibly student-focused and often responds to requests by asking, is it good for the kids? If it is, let's find a way to do it. He is supportive of staff, believing in their talents and professionalism, giving them the autonomy to do what they need to do in the classroom. There are many reasons that we will miss the tallest person in the building. Um, no one else can reach the whiteboard eraser that he hides in the ceiling tile, or pull the screen down without a chair, except for Des Moines, but he's graduating, so he'll be leaving too. Who else will referee the student versus staff basketball games, play goalie in the street hockey shootout, drop into the band classes to showcase their rhythm as a percussionist, or hold court in the many hallway offices chatting with students? We will miss his razor sharp wit, wisdom, and friendship, but after 37 years in the business, we recognize that it's time for him to enjoy his other pursuits like fishing, hunting, writing, and volunteering with many community groups. We wish him well as he enjoys more time with his lovely bride, Anne Marie, his sons, Dean and Luke, and his many donor friends. <clears throat>
were dependent upon the student informing the school of what was received by the graduate. The Governor's General Medal, which is awarded to the student with the highest average in all of the grade 11 and 12 courses, will be presented at governor, Government House on July 25th. The first row graduates, please rise. Ms. Bryden, I'll turn it back over to you.
PPI Mutual Education Trust Scholarship and a 2023 Lorne Provincial Award. Recognition Award. <laughs> Jolie Collins. <laughs> Jolie is awarded a $1,000 UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Award. <laughs> Amanda Conway. Amanda is awarded a $3,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Award. Tristan Crane. Tristan is awarded the Chris LeClaire Memorial Bursary, the Class of 91 Student Award, and a $1,000 UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Award. Jacob Dalton. <laughs> Jacob is awarded the Michael S. Kelly Memorial Full Tuition Renewable Scholarship and a $2,000 UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Award. the H. Wade McLaughlin Raised Expectations $500 Award and a $500 UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Award. Nathan Davis. Nathan is awarded a CRHS Home and School Prize. Karina is awarded a CRHS Recognition Award. Julia Duffy. Julia is awarded a CRHS Recognition Award. Anna Ellsworth. Shanna is awarded a CRHS Recognition Award. Jumana Elshami. Jumana is awarded the Frank J. Costello Award the BEI Role Builders and Heavy Construction Association Prize, the IB Learner Profile, and is a 2023 Lawrence Semi-Finalist. Faith, Faith is awarded a CRHS Recognition Award. Olivia Gallant. <laughs> Olivia is awarded a CRHS Recognition Award. Ben Galloway. Ben is presented prizes for achievement in accounting 6 to 1, Physical Aid Education 801, and is awarded a $2,000 UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Award. <laughs> Noah Hassan. Noah is awarded a C 
CRHS Recognition Award. Jack Hicks. Jack is awarded a CRHS Recognition Award. John is awarded a CRHS Recognition Award. Emma Cooper Gregory. Emma is awarded a CRHS Recognition Award. Riley Hines. Riley is presented a CRHS Recognition Award. David J. David has presented prizes for achievement in Biology 621, Chemistry 621, Math 611B, Physics 621, the Marshall Arsenal Award, and the Mount Allison University $5,000 Renewable Entrance Scholarship. Please stand if you are able and recognize David as he receives the prize for the highest aggregate in grade 12.
Kathy McDonald. Kathy is presented with the prize for achievement in French Immersion Sociology 621. Annabelle McKinnon. Annabelle was awarded a CREGES Recognition Award. Jake McNevin. Jake is awarded a CRHS Recognition Award. <laughs> Leah Kong. <laughs> Leah is awarded the Town of Stratford Community Bursary. And please stand if you are able to recognize Leah as she receives a prize for the highest aggregate in the IB program. Della Merton. Della is awarded a CRHS Recognition Award. Jack Merton. Jack is awarded a CRHS Recognition Award. Megan Merton. Megan is awarded the CRHS Recognition Award. Lainey McGonnell. Lainey is awarded the CRHS Recognition Award. Tyler McPhee. Tyler is awarded a UPEI Alexander Bradshaw Campbell $2,000 entrance scholarship and a $500 UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Award. <laughs> Jonghyun Meng. <laughs> Jonghyun is awarded the CRHS Recognition Award. Abigail Molino. <laughs> Abigail is awarded the Rebecca Dixon Memorial Scholarship, the UPEI Alexander Bradshaw Campbell $2,000 Entrance Scholarship, and a $1,000 Celebrating Student Achievement Award. <laughs> Carly Murray. The Siri Just Recognition Award. Ethan Hughes. Ethan is awarded the Siri Just Recognition Award. Lucas Nelson. CRHS Recognition Award. Kevin Quinn. Kevin is awarded the CRHS Recognition Award. Chase Norquay. Art 621, a CRHS Home and School Prize, and a $2,000 UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Award. <laughs> Scott.
Skye Northrup. Skye is awarded the CRHS Recognition Award. Matthew O'Connell. Matthew has presented prizes for Achievement in Computer Science 621, French Immersion 621, Math 621B, and a $3,000 UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Award. Please stand if you are able to recognize Matthew as he receives the prize for the graduate of the second highest category. Jan Padilla. Jan is awarded the CRHS Recognition Award. Gio Wei Pan. Gio Wei is awarded the CRHS Recognition Award. Grace Patterson. Grace is awarded the CRHS Recognition Award. Jesse Perry. Jesse is awarded the CRHS Recognition Award. Haley Petrie. Haley is presented with a prize for achievement in AgriScience 801. Ben Pru. Ben is awarded a $1,000 UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Award. Jayfong Q. Jayfong is awarded a CRHS Recognition Award. Caleb Rattray. Caleb is awarded a CRHS Recognition Award. I would like to call on Rob Rebin to the stage, please. Abby Redman. Abby is awarded the CRHS Home School Prize. Emma Richards. Emma is presented a prize for achievement in Psychology 621 and a $2,000 UPDI Celebrating Student Achievement Award. Charlotte Russell.
Chairman is awarded the Remarkable Reader Award, the Frederick M. Davison Award of Excellence, a $5,770 scholarship, the Alexander Bradshaw Campbell $2,000 Entrance Scholarship, and a UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Award. Sona Sabu. Sona is awarded the CRHS Recognition Award. Nathan Shea. Nathan is awarded the CRHS Recognition Award. Zachary Scary. Zachary is awarded the CRHS Recognition Award. Isabel Taylor. Isabel is awarded the CRHS Recognition Award. Jensi Tran. Jensi is presented a prize for achievement in Math 611B. Tierra Shimalanga. Tierra is presented a prize for achievement in History of Rock and Roll 801 and a $1,000 UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Award. <laughs> Janelle Bessie Gorski. <laughs> Janelle is awarded a CRHS Recognition Award. Rihanna Wallers. Rihanna is awarded the CRHS Recognition Award. Christy Wong. Christy is awarded the CRHS Recognition Award. Achievement Award. I'd like to now call upon our 2023 valedictorian, Ellen Carraher, to approach the podium. Which is why I like to think of us as one of a kind. 
I know a lot of individuals, including myself, who always set limitations on what they can and can't do. There have been times where I continuously told myself that I couldn't do something and I wasn't good enough. And I know many other individuals who do the same. Napoleon Hill once said, our only limitations are the ones we set up in our own minds. Your mind can be your best friend and your worst enemy, and I feel as though high school truly emphasizes that. In life, you are going to face many challenges, and you will question your own ability and whether you are capable. But when it comes to building an incredible life, there is no limit to what you can or can't do. You are the writer of your own story, and you hold the pen, because the future isn't something we enter, it's something we create. I want all of you in this room to make mistakes. Make lots of mistakes, because if you're making mistakes, you're trying new things, you're challenging yourself, and you're learning. Because we are by no means perfect, trust me. <laughs> when you are a child, people tell you to dream big. But as we get older, the messaging from dream big somehow turns into, if the big dream doesn't work out, choose plan B. Well, I say forget plan B and always shoot for the big dream. I truly also believe that I can speak for everyone when I say that we have all learned more over the past three years than we all thought possible. But the majority of what we learned wasn't just necessarily academic. Although academics are important in your life, your success won't be solely measured by the marks you receive, but it will also be measured on your character and your resilience. A grade does not define who you are. I wish I had someone to tell me this when I was trying to get through Miss Hudson's grade 11 chemistry class. <laughs> Love you, Miss Hudson. <laughs> we never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. And thinking back to the many special memories over the last three years, some certain ones need to be shared. One of the very first memories that comes to mind is when one of my close friends used a straw to suck a fish out of Miss Huggins' fish tank, put it in her water bottle, and take it home as a pet. As you can imagine, that did not work out. There are countless memories to be replayed, such as winter formal dances, safe grad where Michael Kiley almost threw up on half the rides he went on, and watching Owen Headley go the wrong way on the go-kart track, or even surrounding Anthony Ernst's car with sticky notes as a senior prank. Thinking back to prom when we danced until we couldn't anymore, spirit weeks where we covered our faces in red paint that led to acne, and the countless memories that come to mind, there's not just one thing that I can say I will miss most. However, one of the other things that I will miss greatly is kicking Colonel Gray's butt and bringing home those championship banners. <laughs> Along with all of these incredible memories, there were also moments of self-doubt, uncertainty, and frustration. But that is what makes high school such an amazing experience. It is not perfect. Through the struggles, doubt, and uncertainty, I can truly say that I was able to get through these times with the help of all of you. As we move forward, let us never forget the incredible support that we have received along the way. I would like to thank the teachers and staff who have made the past three years possible. I know it might have seemed that teachers were out to get us all, but this is not the case. The teachers and staff that we are surrounded with today are the very reason that we are standing here. These individuals have inspired us, they have taught us, and they have pushed us when we couldn't push ourselves. So thank you to all of the teachers for standing by us and pushing us when we couldn't. I also encourage you all to take this moment and look at the individuals sitting behind you. Your parents and your guardians, although they might be crying right now looking at you, deserve a gracious thank you. They have supported us, they have encouraged us, and they have put, our annoying, they have put up with our annoying selves over the last 18 years of our life. Thank you to all of those who are standing with us today. Thank you for believing in what we could do. Thank you for being by us. Thank you for never giving up on us. And thank you for being one of the very reasons that we are out here. I'm asking you all to glance around and take this moment in. All of our hard work and triumphs have been realized. As we venture forth, let us not only be defined by our successes, but by our character and our resilience. Muhammad Ali once said, if they can make penicillin out of moldy bread, they can surely make something out of you. I am excited to see where our paths will lead and the endeavors we will accomplish. It is beyond difficult to say goodbye or even see you later to the people we have grown up with, the people that have been with us from the start. I am thankful to have gotten to stand by you all these past years of my life. I know that each of your impacts will be great and you will see me in the crowd cheering you on every step of the way. Thank you to each and every one of you for your support, for your friendship and the countless memories. Congratulations, class of 2023. We did it. Thank you, Emily. 
Graduates, please rise. The tassel on a graduation order represents student goals while at school. At this time, you may move the tassel from the right side of the order to your left, symbolizing the achievement of your goals.